Prepare your lab area, calibrate your fluorometer, and prepare your 80-20 mix of methanol and water. Prepare your aflatest developer per the instructions on the bottle. Developer is good for eight hours. Be sure that your fluorometer has been calibrated to the proper red and green calibration settings and tested with the yellow standard. First, grind your sample. A slightly coarse grind like you'd use in a drip coffee maker is appropriate. Measure 50 grams. Next, measure 5 grams of iodine-free salt. Measure 200 milliliters of 80-20 methanol in water. This mix is available in a premix from Vicam, or you can make your own. Add the sample, salt, and methanol to the blender jar. Set the timer just past 60 seconds and blend on high. Prepare a fluted paper filter by placing it into a clean collection cup. Next, you'll pour your blended mixture into the filter and begin collecting the sample. While the sample filters through, prepare for your next step of the procedure. Measure 40 milliliters of purified water. If you haven't already, now is a perfect time to clean your collection syringe. Use pure methanol and purified water to clean out any residue left from the last test. Attach the aflatest column to the syringe. The syringe coupler is simply a column cap with the bottom snipped off with a pair of scissors. If you lose the coupler, just make a new one. Now that our sample has been filtered, add 10 milliliters to our 40 milliliters of purified water to dilute. Mix the dilution by pouring back and forth into a clean vessel three times. Fold a microfiber filter to fit in the funnel. The folding technique shown allows maximum surface area for the filtration, but any way you fold it is just fine. Using the markings on the syringe barrel to measure, Pour 4 milliliters of diluted sample through the filter into the syringe. Attach the air pump to the top of the syringe and carefully adjust to get 1 to 2 drops of sample through the column per second. This will take a little practice. When the sample is done dripping, allow air to flow through the column. Measure 5 milliliters of purified water to wash the column.
pass one to two drops per second through the column. Once air has passed through the column, repeat the last step. Add five more milliliters of water and repeat. Remove the waste collection cup. Place the collection cuvette below the column. Add one milliliter of pure methanol. Very carefully pass one drop per second through the column. Methanol is less dense than water, so it will flow quicker than in your last steps. Remove the cuvette. Add one milliliter of fresh Aflatest developer solution. Mix. Clean the cuvette with a fresh Kim wipe before inserting into the fluorometer. Because you checked your calibration settings with the yellow standard, the fluorometer was set up to test for aflatoxin. It was waiting for your sample. After 60 seconds, your results will print and appear on the screen. Remove the sample and you're ready for the next test.